G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. The old saying goes, if you've been bad all year, you get a lump of coal at Christmas. But why does it have to be such a bad thing? It can actually taste delish. So join me today as I make my version of Christmas coal. Now this recipe is incredibly simple to prepare because I'm going to melt all the ingredients in the microwave at the same time. So into a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to place in 125 grams of butter, followed by 175 grams of dark chocolate, and then 250 grams of marshmallows. So I'm going to place this into the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and we're going to stir it each time between those 30 second bursts until it's completely melted. Okay, so as you can see it is nicely melted and well combined. Now this is coal, so we need it to be a little bit blacker. So I have some black food colouring, so at about one to two tablespoons worth. And we're just going to mix that through until we have a nice shade of black. <laughs> Okay, so in Australia they're called Cocoa Pops, but overseas they're also called um, Cocoa Puffs. They've got different names, but basically they're puffy bits of rice. But these ones are the chocolate coated version. So I'm going to place in four cups and we're going to mix those through until they're completely combined in all that yummy, yummy mixture. Okay, so I have a greased cupcake holder. So we're just going to fill each one with a desired amount of coal. So it really is up to you on how big you want these lumps of coal to be made. Just don't make them too even or too flat because coal in itself is also very rigid. You know, it's, it's not flat or square. Now you can use cupcake trays if you like, but I find with these, because you've greased it, they're not really going to stick. Especially with these rubber ones, they just pop right out. But feel free to use the paper cupcakes if you like. Okay, so once done, we're simply going to place this into the fridge for an hour to completely set. Now, it doesn't really matter if you've been naughty or nice this year, because when you receive these lumps of coal, it's not actually a bad thing, it's a lovely treat. So on second thoughts, maybe you shouldn't give this to the bad ones. Because this is one of those times you actually want to receive that lump of coal, because when you bite into one of these ancient creations, the only words coming out of your mouth are going to be, it tastes simply delish. So it doesn't matter if you've been good or bad, there is no excuse not to whip these up, because everyone will love them. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients in the description below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.